Gooch. Now Cook elevates for a three. It's good. And Charles grabs the lead. Darryl Davis lobbing. Steed makes the catch. Lays it Steve in. 15 to 11. Fan. Left wing. Pass goes to Pierre. He finds Worley down low, and he lays it in. He handoff comes to Cook, turns the corner. Cook spinning down the lane, lays it up and in. Fifth for Dayton. He'll push it in transition. He got pushed. He lays it up and in. Dayton within one, 20 to nine. By Worley kind of staying. Crosby left open all the way, lays Good. it in. Just saw the opening. Handed off to Daryl Davis, trying to turn the corner. He does and lays it in. Darryl 30 Worley and around to Pierre. He's open for three. It's good. 35 34. Date within the year. Back to KD. Top of the key and around. It goes right corner. Scooch for three. And it waits for the double team. Takes it down low. Kicks to Cook. Open. Three. Got it. We're tied at 42. To the key. To key down the lane. Throw it away. Stolen by Cook. He's got. Adams guarding him, lays it up and in, and a foul, and a free play opportunity for Charles Cook as Dayton takes the lead. They can't, and, and now the energy in this building, it's all been sucked Lob up. for Steve, lays it up and in. 59-62, 56, Cook will drive, Cook will lay it in. And, and hey, what do you know, I mean, off the transition. I mean, that's the best time, Cook got the rebound. Controlled by Scooch, he fires it ahead to Kyle Davis, he'll lay it in by Scooch. Shot clock at 10, Scooch will drive, lay it in, and a foul. Brings it back top of the key to Cook. Cook driving, lays it up, and no, tapped in by McElvain to tie the game at 72. 